2018, you little bitch. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is your girl Essence of Shay. I know you guys haven't seen me in a while. Let's get right into the video. Today is New Year's Eve, December 31st, 2018, and I'm just sitting here completely emotional. Let me tell you why. So this is a third year in a row with a relationship or without a relationship that I have spent New Year's, New Year Eve and New Year's Day by myself. And it makes me emotional for several reasons. Like the emotions go all over the place. Like 2018 has just been, whew, it has been a lot for your girl. I broke up, me and my, my ex were not together for a while, but we were still acting as though we were together. We just didn't have the title. There was a lot of back and forth, abuse, physical, a lot. I had to deal with stuff with family members. I had personal demons I had to face. There was just a lot. And I just find that every single year on this particular day, I'm just sitting back thinking is like I have this same conversation and saying that this, this year has been rough. I can't remember the last time I've sat down at the ending of a year and I'm just like, oh my God, this year has been amazing. This year was fantastic. Like, yes, there were ups and downs, but this year was great. Like, I lost a bunch of people, jobs, financial struggles, personal struggles. Like, it's been a lot. And I noticed that it's an ongoing cycle. And I'm at a point where I'm just fed up with it. Like, I'm tired of the same ferris wheel like i just want to get off of it i'm the only one that can make that happen is me like i'm the only one who can stop all the shenanigans from happening the highlight of this year is that I moved to Dallas. And yes, Dallas has been rough, but it's good for me because it's letting me take out a leap of faith and it's letting me just like focus on what's important, which is me. I'm still looking for other pe like to other people for like to have fun and a connection because I see these friends and these people who have been friends for so long and I'm just like I make friends and then I don't have them at the end of the year or I'm in a relationship and then this person is gone and I am starting to realize that it's just like you have to be happy and comfortable with yourself and I admit that is something that I completely struggle with and I don't want to end another year feeling this way again. Because what the, f like, this is not healthy, nor does it make me feel good. 
Like, I don't want to financially struggle anymore. I don't want to keep making bad choices. I don't want to look in the mirror and be like, girl, you let yourself go. I don't want to, like, all this stuff, I'm tired of it. And yes, I can keep saying, you, I'm tired of it, I'm tired of it. But the fact of the matter is, and this is not just for me, this is for anybody. The fact of the matter is, is that you need to take responsibility for your own life. Like fam, take, I could sit here and blame everybody for the things that happen in my life. I could do that. And some might say that I'll be justified in it. But at the end of the day, I still allowed myself to be in those situations. I still put myself in those situations. I still kept myself in those situations. I'm tired of the same story of my life. I'm tired of it. Here is a declaration that I have given up on Essence of Shea. I have given up on Shea. That young girl, teenager, young lady, woman who had all this shitty stuff happen to her and shitty stuff that she has caused and all this other stuff that just keeps just pounding at her. I'm over her. I'm done with her because what it has done is given me a bunch of gray hair. This year, like, gray hairs have just like sprouted out on the top of my head it has made me go on an emotional roller coaster that i don't even think i know what true love is i don't think i've ever been in love to be completely honest i don't know what true true happiness is i don't know what true fulfillment is and the first step is just being honest. And a lot of you guys, I know you're going to sit up here and like, Shay, well done. Like, I get it. But everybody's life is not the same. Everybody doesn't handle things the same exact way. We don't. Unfortunately, we don't. I'm a person who is great at giving advice. Great at it. Do I take the advice that I'm giving? I sure do not because if I did for example I wouldn't have had a person who I've been flirting back and forth with for almost a year to the point where we build a really close friendship that we've never seen each other in person but we always FaceTime I wouldn't have put myself in a situation where I would purchase a ticket to go see this person and the week of me going to see this person, this person completely ghosts me, but posting on Instagram all the time. I would have more respect for myself that I wouldn't even have been put in that situation. I wouldn't have put myself in a situation where like I'm living paycheck to paycheck and I keep spending my money frivolously on things that I don't need to spend my money on instead of focusing on what I need to focus on. I wouldn't be in situations where I am not in a relationship anymore, but I am still treating a person like I'm still in it, but then get butt hurt when they turn around and say that they're in a new relationship now. I wouldn't be in a job right now that is just not, it's just not what I want to do. I would take a leap of faith and do what I need to do 
to make the life that I want. <laughs> My hair wouldn't be thinning, th literally thinning out because I'm so stressed. This is the last year that I'm going to have this conversation. Because one, I'm tired of having it. Two, I know my family and you guys are tired of hearing me have this conversation with you guys. And three, God has so much more bigger stuff planned and wanting for me. But at some point, he's just going to pull that stuff away because he's like, girl, it's like you're not getting it. It's not clicking. 2018, I'm tired of you, sis. And you could go about your business. And yes, it's sad that once again, I'm spending... And someone, some might say it's not that big of a deal, but to me it is a big, crucial step into a transition into a new space, a new thing by myself again. While everybody that I'm, well, I think I'm cool with are out there having the time of their life or going to have the time of their life and I'm still sitting here. by myself I'm gonna start taking a leap of faith in me and in my brand and start just living for me and it's gonna be hard because I'm such a people person it's gonna be so hard but I'm really going to focus on my happiness first above anyone else's before I make a decision to do anything or answer any questions, I have to see, is it going to make me happy? Is it going to make me fulfilled? What is it going to do for me first? Because all my life, I've just been focusing on everybody else and on everybody's happiness. And here we are, December 31st, 2018, and I'm sitting here by myself. Y'all, I'm really over it. Like, I'm done. I can't anymore this is not a space that I enjoy and it's just it just makes depression so much harder like I can't <sighs> wallow in my sorrows for a little bit and then I'm done I'm done because this just sucks. I hate feeling this way. And another year has just been terrible. The only highlight that I can think of, which is so sad because I'm pretty sure other things have happened, but the only highlight that I could think of is moving to Dallas and taking a leap of faith finally in my life that's the only thing that i could think of everything else oh and being in essence magazine being in essence magazine moving to dallas my Tiger Lily squad growing. We're gonna look back a year from now and see what changes have happened. See where the mental space has gone. And this channel we're going to talk about real deal stuff. My podcast, Keep Stepping, will be every Tuesday. Because we're going to talk about some stuff. The fluff has got to stop. 
we got to be real about what's really going on in life and stop pretending for the cameras. If you guys want to continue with me on my journey, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let's end it with a daily affirmation. Why not, right? You are more than just words. Don't let the actions of others define who you are. Rise up. Rise up. I love y'all. And thank you for rocking with me another year. We're not going to have this conversation anymore, y'all. 2019 was good. <laughs> Tiger Lily Squad. Gang, gang. I love y'all. course let me have the money in the dashboard max mad could you lost the brick inside the porch goofy with the curb